Alright, hello everyone. Uh, so I'm going to start this kind of new documentary on a new project I'm starting. Uh, and this is the project, not this guy. An electric scooter. Well, it's an electric project, but it's not, not an electric scooter. It's going to be an electric bicycle. So here I have a... This is this is what I'm gonna be building off of. Anyway, so this is what uh, this is what I'm building my next project on. It's a uh, it's gonna be an electric bicycle. It's gonna be kind of like a hybrid bicycle that I'm going for. Like you can you can pedal and you could still uh, and you could use a electric motor. So that way you can extend the range. And what I'm going for is. Uh, it's going to be a, a gear driven motor or a mid uh, mid mounted motor and it's going to it's going to connect to the crank so it's not like those hub motors that you see like um the good the advantages of this is that you can use the gearing of the bike to make it faster or or have more torque and so what I want to use this mountain bike for uh, the reason I'm using a mountain bike is I want to use it for mountain biking I want to use it to help me go up them hills and then, uh, and then, uh, cause like pretty, that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to do some off-roading with the motorized bike is on an electric bike. So uh, it would be cool to go up those, uh, park trails with, uh, with the dirt bike, but I'm pretty sure they won't let you. Uh, anyway, this is, so this is what I'm working off of. It's, uh, it's a Harley Davidson mountain bike. I've had it for a while now. It's a hard, it, so I, I got it at a Toys R Us, and it, uh, it's not bad for a budget bike. It's, uh, it says it's Harley Davidson, but um, it's made in China. So, anyway, it's got full suspension, front and rear, and it has a front disc brake. So that's good. I, I hate the regular disc brakes. The back one is just a normal disc brake, though. And, uh,. And yeah, it's already got a rack, so I can put the batteries on that. I'm planning to use LiPo batteries, and I got the the kit inside. I'll show that. But uh, the rear suspension is not very good. The, well, the shock isn't very good. Yeah, the suspension isn't very good overall. But I've taken it mountain biking, and it can handle it pretty well. And the disc brakes are good. Good to have. And I've put a couple mods on it already. I have like these trigger shifters here. They work real good. This used to be a twist twist throttle. It's got a bike computer. It's got a light already. And it's already got all the accessories. All it needs is a electric motor. So, so one of the drawbacks of the kit I got is it changes your three speed. It's gonna. I'm gonna have to change my three gear sprocket into a one gear sprocket so I'm gonna lose let's see I got a 21 speed so I'm down to seven speeds now so <laughs> so I lost a lot of torque but let's hope the let's hope the motor can make up for that but I still got seven gears in the back that I can use and uh, yeah it's got some nice uh, pedals on it already I used to use this thing go to go to bike parties. So maybe now I can. Well, I could probably take it on a bike party and see how well the the range is. So okay, so this is the kit that I bought. It's made by or the people that sell their G N G Electric. That mean it means like great and giant or something. Uh, it's some company in China that's selling electric bike parts. And it came it cost me $175 and I paid like $90 for the shipping. Uh, that's still pretty cheap compared to most of the other kits out there. This is a lot like uh the Cyclone kit from Taiwan. And I got the 24 volt kit. And actually it didn't take that long to get here. Because I paid the extra for the shipping. But there it is. That shows you how to install it. I'll show you the kit right now. Alright, so here's the kit. I just got it today. And it was nicely packed in the, in the box. So 
on too much styrofoam, but it arrived and it arrived safely. So here's a little the gear for the front drive now. It's it's pretty nice. It's not like the one in the auction. I, I think this is the up this is an updated version because it's black. The one that was in the auction is like a metallic color, steel color. But, uh, it, Looks like a, it's a good quality gear. Um, I'm probably gonna lock tight these screws down. This looks like they may come off, but it comes with a chain guard, and that's good. Here's the the axle or the the crank axle, and I'm missing one of the motor mounts. Uh, so, but I don't. I, I'm pretty sure I could fabricate another one or get something from Home Depot. It comes with this twist throttle. That's a full twist throttle. It doesn't it's pretty bare bones. It doesn't even have a battery indicator. I might replace it with a, um, a half throttle later for maybe a scooter. So it's like a it's a three wire uh, twist throttle. It's like I take it. It's just like a it's like an on off type thing. And it came with a, some of the newer a newer crank style. Too. They're much thicker. Looks like they're made out of aluminum too. They're not very heavy. Maybe not, I don't know. but they're not very heavy. They're thick. And here's the controller. Doesn't look like much. And here is the heart of it all the motor. So it's like a gear reduction motor. I got the 24 volt one, cause that way um, it's easier to find batteries and it'll run longer. But I don't think it's going to be very fast. But I'm hoping that the gearing will help me get up to at least 20 miles an hour. That's what I'm hoping. Anything more than that, you'll probably get pulled over. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's got a little freewheel here. And an idler. It's plastic though. I don't know why. It's plastic, but let's hope it doesn't break. And then it comes with a motor mount bracket already on it. So this is supposed to go on the, the crankcase. And then this mounts to the arm. Just the wiring. And the controller actually has a lot of options you can use with it, but the only thing you can really plug into this guy is one, the battery, this here. And I don't have the batteries yet. I just have to order them from Hobby King. Here's the motor. So apparently this connects to there. This is... It's a charge port, which I'm probably not going to use because I'm going to choose a, a LiPo charger. Brake light. Uh, I don't know. It didn't come with uh, any, any brake levers or anything, so... No brake light. Probably not going to use that one. What's this one? This is derailleur. I have no idea what that's for. Maybe, maybe if you have an electric derailleur. <laughs> I don't know if there's such a thing. Power locks. I guess uh, I guess this, you can use it as an ignition. And indicator lights. Oh, that's nice. Don't really need them, but... And I, don't know, I think this is a, another brake light or something. Can't really tell. I can't read Chinese either. <laughs> there it is. And it's only a 24 volt, 250 watt controller. <laughs> Plus minus 0 0.5 volt. <laughs> yep. So that's the kit. It's pretty bare bones. But all I need to get it running is uh, the battery and what I was gonna do is I was gonna use two uh, 5,000 milliamp or 5 amp hour lipos that were uh, 22 uh, 22 volts it's already um, and I was gonna put them in in a uh, parallel so I get a 10 amp hour battery so I get some good runtime out of it and maybe later I might I might overvolt it with a 36 volt uh, I'll just put a bunch of packs in series, but that's only good for speed, so just hoping the gearing will help. So that's the kit, and 
I'll just have to get the batteries. We'll see how it goes.